<laughs> All right, we're ready to start. We do have a quorum of three. All right, 7 p.m. Today is Tuesday, October the 5th. Uh, let's go ahead and take a roll call. Excused absence, correct? Yes. Present. Okay. Any citizen to be handed? Oh, no. Good to see you, sir. Uh, any citizen kind, no, no official citizen comment at this time. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, let's go ahead to the consent agenda. It's approval of the zoning commission meetings um, from October, uh, August the 3rd, 2021. I'm sure you had a chance to read. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes. I have a motion by Jackson, second by Herndon. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Let's move on to the first item of business. Chairman, uh, yes, sir. Just joined via Zoom. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate you coming on. And that will constitute the one person that can be on the Zoom, correct? As per the new ruling. Yes, sir. Uh, Councilman, uh, I mean, excuse me, Councilman Old Habits, uh, Commissioner McCormick could not attend tonight. So uh, I think Mr. Herman is attending via online in the place. And, and just for my colleagues to understand that the new ruling is that one of us can be able to Zoom in for a meeting. The rest of us have to be present. The chairman definitely has to be present. Um, and Mark, any other clarification? Thank you, sir. Got it. So that concludes that. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, we voted before he came on or were notified. So we will go back to that vote. All those in favor of the approval of the Zoning Commission meeting minutes from August the 3rd, 2021, please say goodbye by saying aye. All right. Those opposed, motion carries. All voted present. First out of business is item 4.1 is a public hearing on a possible amendment to the zoning ordinance to add a provision stating that lots in the RR Rural Residential Zoning District that were less than 0 0.75 of an acre in size on August 10, 2021, be considered legal lots. The owners of such lots shall not be required to obtain a variance due to the size of such lots to have a residence constructed or reconstructed on such lots, and that the setbacks for such lots um, be say, the same as setbacks as in the single family district, as in the A single family district. Uh, this is the opening of the public hearing. It is 7.03 p.m. Uh, do we have anybody signed up? We have one that was submitted through email. Yeah. Dear members of the Zoning Commission, um, Mr. Snall, Mr. Zamoran, City Manager Rapley, as someone who attended the July and August public sessions and voiced concerns over the impact of the RR district ordinances upon my property, I apologize that I was unable to attend tonight's meeting. I have an inflexible work conflict. I would like to expect, excuse me, I'd like to express my support of the possible amendment on tonight's agenda and gratitude to the quick work of those involved in drafting it. I hope you will pass it. Thank you, Zach Zurich, 104 Riviera, and 218 Hibiscus. Zach Zurich. Thank you very much. Is there anybody in the audience who'd like to speak to this issue? Is there anybody on the internet that would like to speak to this issue? Seeing none, then at 7.04, I will close the public hearing. Uh, the public hearing is now officially closed. We'll go straight into the discussion of 4.2. Discussion and possible action on resolution 2021-10-05 of the Zoning Commission of the City of Castle Hills. Texas recommending to the City Council that section 50-399 be added to the chapter 50 of the Code of Ordinances to add
had a provision stating that lots in the RR Rural Residential Zoning District that were less than 0 0.75 of an acre in size on August the 10th, 2021, be considered legal lots. The owners of such lots shall not be required to obtain a variance due to the size of such lots and to have residents constructed or reconstructed on such lots and that the setbacks for such lots shall be the same as setbacks in the A single family district. Uh, gentlemen, at this time, we have a discussion. I do have a question. So what's interesting about this, uh, Mr. Chennault, if you'd come forward, uh, just in reference to the question, as it says, as of the date of August the 10th, 2021. Tell me the significance of that date. That's the date the city council voted to rezone property from the A single family district to the RR district. Okay. And that's why that date was chosen. And so that day from that day forward, no, that day before, they're then able to reconstruct. And basically what, what something would, someone would relate to is um, what we would call is the grandfather clause. This addresses that concern for that size of a lot for somebody at that point, correct? That is correct. Because until the city council voted to change the zoning, the minimum lot size and the setbacks were the same as in the A district, which meant a lot could be 14,000 square feet. That okay. doesn't work in the area west of West Avenue where the RR district is because of the need for most of those properties, if not all, to be on septic, which Perfect. need a, a, you know, a larger square foot lot. And there is, uh, Mr. Chairman, there is a proposed resolution in the packet. I had a question as well. Does this date pretty much um, gather or encompass everybody who had um, expressed concern about this? Well, the date is there because that's the date that the rules changed for those properties. Mr. Zurich, whose comments the city secretary read a few moments ago, was the only person who really stood up and spoke at several public hearings expressing his concern because he acquired a lot in the what became an RR lot um, earlier in 2021, and that lot is less than 0.75 of an acre. Um, so he was directly affected, and comments were made during the public hearing at the city council in August that Chairman Solis made a presentation at. Um, that were supportive of our doing something to take care of this problem so that property owners wouldn't have to go to the Board of Adjustment and get four votes to get the ability to build on their properties. Thank you. And, and I think the, your question is, is an interesting question because you want to know if it encompasses all concerns. Quite frankly, the only person that came forward was this one gentleman with that concern. So, but because we put the set date, anyone who now has that 0.75 can come forward uh, and not seek the variance. That that's, won't need to seek a variance, Correct. Mr. Chairman. And, that's and right. there was a, 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 a report done, I don't have it with me, Mr. Rapley um, did get it from the city engineers, which identified lots in the RR district, which were less than 0.75. And in addition to Mr. Zurich, I, I do want to correct myself. There was one gentleman who did ask a question at the end of a public hearing. The question was never answered, um, but his question was, well, if my lot is less than 0.75 and my house burns down, correct. am I going to need to get a variance to rebuild? And the answer is, until this action tonight potentially is taken and ultimately action by the council, the answer to that gentleman's question would have been yes, because our grandfather clause does not extend to properties which are more than 50% destroyed. Um, does this, um, just on another question in reference to the RR Rosa, this is, is probably our last tweak until other issues are brought forth for that area that you know of, or is there something pending other? Than I certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jackson, any, any questions or comments on this? Oh, I'll take I'll need a second. I'll second. Thank you, sir. We have a motion and a second. Are there any commissioners have a comments? See no comments. All those in favor of the motion as read, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Schnall. Great work.
Next is point uh, 4.3, public hearing on an application from Anbar Nunez for a special use permit for a property located at 8006 West Avenue, Suite 1, legal description, City Block 5778B, Castle Hills Office Park Condominiums, Unit 8006 in the City of Castle Hills, Bear County, Texas, to provide microblading and permanent cosmetic services. Mr. Chairman, Amber Nunez, Nunez is present. Hello, Ms. Dunias. Yes, ma'am. It is a 710. The public hearing is now open. Yes, ma'am. Please tell us what you're doing. I am a microblading artist who also does permanent makeup, and I need to obtain a zoning verification form so I can get my Texas salon license through the state. So I'm just doing what I need to do to get into the location. Good. It's that simple. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone scheduled else to speak? Anybody in the audience? See nobody in the audience? Anybody on the internet watching our meeting scheduled to speak or to would like to speak on this issue? Seeing none, then at 7.11 p.m. we will close the public hearing and move on to discussion and possible action. 4.4 is discussion and possible action on resolution 202110-05-A, an application from Anbar Nunez for a special use permit for a property located at 8006 West Avenue, Suite 1, legal description, City Block 5778B, Castle Hills Office Park Condominiums, Unit 8006, in the city of Castle Hills, Bear County, Texas, to provide macroblading and permanent com cosmetic services. I'll need a motion to commence the conversation. I'll make a motion that we- Thank you, we have a motion, it. second by Jackson. Um, are there any comments? Gentlemen, as you recall, um, because this is considered as almost, well, it is a tattoos, that because of the city ordinance, we have to bring it forth and ask the variance so that she can see as she articulated pursue her state licensing. We've done this many times before. Um, seeing no other questions? Questions? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, I believe our work is done. It is set. Ryan, I appreciate you being here. You did not have to rush back for this. Uh, it is 7, 12 p.m. I'll need a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Jackson. Second by Herndon. All those in favor, please signify up and say aye. 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 Thank you, sir. Thanks for making us our quorum. Bye-bye. <laughs>